Hi, I'm Charles Balsamo. I'm committed to Duke and I'm from Manhasset. I definitely pride myself on being a team first player. Uh, you know, I think obviously in a team sport like lacrosse, it's impossible to just be a one man show, but uh, definitely team first, do anything to win, no matter what it takes. And, uh, you know, I like the camaraderie that lacrosse brings and I'm really aggressive. I think I'm very smart and silky, smooth, and I think I have a good blend of a lot of you know, characteristics that describe great lacrosse players. Number one, I'd probably have to say Rob Pinnell. Um, I think Rob you know, plays the, the game at a different pace than everybody else, and he's sort of on a different frequency than you know, most players are on the field. You know, I think Rob is just one of the best attackmen, in my opinion, is the best attackman of all time. Another player would probably be Will Manny. Will sort of is that lefty gunslinger. He's sort of silky and like just always constantly moving. You know, one of the best off-ball players in my opinion and could just shoot it from anywhere. Though I didn't get to watch him and I've seen very little film on him, my uncle Vinny Sombrato, who uh, you know is a lacrosse legend, four-time uh, all-world team player and lacrosse Hall of Famer, I've just heard that and I believe it obviously that he was a, a two-way midfielder and was a pass-first type of player and that's something that I pride myself on too, being you know, as diverse as possible, you know, almost uncoverable, whether it be from up top, behind the wing, you know, even going to play defense. Even though I'm an attackman, I love to sometimes go back on D and you know, guard up some guys. So the last player would probably be Joey Sankey because Joey, is sort of, you know, like my build. He's a, you know, a shorter attackman, lefty, very quick, and he was just tough as nails. And he was also, you know, a sniper from the left wing and great passer, super gritty player, always got ground balls, rode, uh, really rode hard. And, uh, yeah, I think Joey Sankey as well. I definitely take Will Manny's hands. Will catches everything, could pass everything off so easily. Um, so Will's hands, Rob Pinnell's lower body, you know, Rob's super smooth and uh, very strong as well. Grant's passing ability, Grant Amon's passing ability and vision. Also Connor Kelly, he, he's very smooth up top and he could, you know, let it fly from, you know, wherever and whenever. And lastly, toughness, I'd probably say Coach Millen. Yeah, Project 9 is undoubtedly my favorite lacrosse event that I've ever been to. Uh, specifically because it's like a balance of like training and then like training your position and then also competing with, you know, other guys that are doing the same thing on the other end, uh, you know, with the midfield goalies and defense. So that training aspect is sort of unique in itself, but also like being in the hotel with the guys and uh, socializing with kids from different parts of the country and at this point there's the kids that are the 23s currently that are in the process of being recruited already maybe have committed so a kid like McKay Millen just committed Duke and you know I committed Duke last year so it's like a different sort of vibe like that way where it's like oh I'm gonna be playing with this kid uh, for three out of the four years that I'm at Duke so that the social aspect is incredible too. And also just like we do yoga, then we do one-on-one -on -one interviews with the coaches. So there's like a mental side that is brought to it as well. And that's what makes it sort of a one-of-one -one like experience. Chaminade has been like one of the most unique experiences for me because I always went to public school my whole life and then transferring to an all boys Catholic high school was a little bit of an adjustment at first, but I was sort of looking long term and being like, it's great lacrosse, great academics, and you know, I wanna be, you know, the best version of myself. So putting myself in that position was super important. Jimmy, you know, is obviously a legend in Manhasset and also at Chaminade. So growing up I would go up to Manhasset High School, watch the Riggs Rock game where Chaminade played in Hassett. Jimmy also went to Duke after Chaminade. He was a like-minded person where he wanted to be the best version of himself. And 
would always push himself and demand excellence. So him going to Chaminade, you know, he wanted the academic excellence as well as like the athletic tradition that Chaminade has, especially the lacrosse team. And then went on to take his talents to Duke, where he was, you know, a legendary player at Duke. You know, war number 10, sort of like a humbling thing, you know, considering what he did and, you know, the ultimate sacrifice that he made. And also being a, one of 56 Gold Star alumni at Chaminade holds like a special weight coming from it has to 